So we start all over the county with Anya Kelly, who is celebrating Christmas as a time of giving and thinks she's been lucky enough to get help in her life and wants to pay it forward. And she's doing that with a Christmas box scheme. Morning, Anya. Morning. Uh, So getting help yourself, let's talk about that first before we go anywhere else. What kind of help have you had? You spent time in care, didn't you? Yeah, so I was abused as a child and grew up in care from the age of seven. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to university um, and I've just finished a PhD. Congratulations, what in? (laughs) Thank you. Um, Looking at how well the care system can meet the physical and mental health needs of children in care. That's really interesting. And I know, you know, the, the dreadful, dreadful story this week of Arthur Labina Jones um, has been yeah. in the, the papers, which must bring a lot of stuff back for you. But you're you're channeling this into something really awesome and, and really positive with Christmas Eve boxes. Yes. So um, I wanted to do something to celebrate the end of my PhD. Um, and I thought giving back to other people would be the perfect way because so many people have helped me get to the end of my PhD. Um, and I ended up speaking to a mum who was in tears and she was upset because she didn't feel like she could get her children anything for Christmas and she was worried about feeding them over Christmas. Which is, Um, I mean, such an awful thing to be thinking about and, you know, there's all this kind of commercial stuff being piled on but at the bottom of it is the fact that some, some kids won't be getting anything at all. Yes, and we've had so many sad comments about... Um, you know, my my children think that Santa doesn't like them. They oh. think that Santa's forgotten them. They think that they've been naughty when they haven't because they haven't got the same things as their friends. Um, so our boxes are really personalised and have lots of little details to make it look like they've come from Santa. Fantastic stuff. And so what kinds of things are going into them and what kind of things are you looking for, Anya? So um, the standard things that are going into them is a personalised letter from Santa, a nice list certificate, um, an I Believe bell so that they can join in with the Christmas Eve jingle. Um, Then they get reindeer food, a baking set, some pyjamas, blankets and things if we can because a lot of the families can't afford heating. Um, And then... You know, any kind of toys or extras that we can give for the parents to give them on Christmas Day as well. Um, and then essential things like uh, we've got a family living in a hotel without a cooker. Wow. Um, and their baby is weaning, so we want to get hold of some um, jars of baby food and things like that so that they can feed their baby without a cooker. Um, and it's not, it's not a big ask, is it? It's you know, it, no. this is things that you know you might be able to bang into your trolley if you're going out and doing some shopping um, this weekend. How how and when are you hoping to put them together? How long have we got on you to get involved and and help with this? Um, I need to send them out by the seventeenth, so we've got two weeks left. And how can people get stuff to you? Is it a case of donating, or is it a case of buying the things and getting them to you? Yep, so there's a number of different ways. We've got an Amazon wish list. We've got a crowdfunder because we need to post some of them. Um, I've set up a blog, um, which I think if you Google Santa's workshop for families in need, it should come up, which has all the details. I've got a mailbox in Summertown Brilliant. Uh, that people can send things to as well. Fantastic stuff. And, and any idea of kind of hopes, dreams, targets, how many how many boxes you're, help, you're hoping to make? Um, we're sending out 411. Wow, that is enormous. <laughs> we, we also have 200 children on a wait list, but I didn't want to get the parents' hopes up. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get all 600. Gosh, so, there's, so there is still space for people to help out if you're looking yeah. for something to do. I always think, you know, if you've got the, the cash, and I understand that a lot of people haven't, but if you have and you may be like me, I find it quite tricky this year in terms of I love going out and sorting gifts and buying things, but I feel guilty about the people that aren't getting them. It's a great way to kind of do do something for the people you love and then do something for people you don't know as well. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, the, the things that we may consider quite small, families are really really grateful for yeah yeah 
Um, it's an amazing so. thing you're doing on your congratulations on the PhD. Keep up the good Thank work. Um, and just give us those details again. What do we need to Google to, to have a look at um, the project and get involved? It's Santa's Workshop for Families in Need. Brilliant stuff. Good luck with the campaign. And the 400, I hope you get to the 600 too. That would be amazing. A way to help make a difference in your corner of Oxfordshire and beyond. It's BBC Radio.